Long wind chime. Hey, all right guys, welcome back. We're out here in the backup garden for some tips and tricks on how to harvest your cannabis plants or when to harvest your cannabis plants. Everybody wants to harvest because somebody told them to harvest at Thanksgiving. We don't need to harvest at Thanksgiving if our plants aren't finished. And the way to tell if your plants are finished is by getting a jeweler's loop and looking at the cannabinoids to see what color they are. You can also get one of them microscopes for a big zoom. You can look at the plant to see what it's looking like. These plants here, if it was a little bigger, you'd notice it's kind of stretching out, bending over, it's starting to change position, change color. This bluish color is from the anthocyanins, the pigment in the cell. It's going from chlorophyll to anthocyanin. So that's one of your signs, is when your plants start changing color, you're starting to get into the harvest season. It doesn't mean they're ready to harvest when they turn blue. It just means they're getting to the end of the season. And that's a good sign to tell. If you want to wait for that, it really is a pretty thing. They go green to purple. Isn't that fun? Well, our plant has changed from the vegetative state in the, to the flower stage or the bloom stage. And so it no longer needs its big fan leaves. As you can see, they've gone yellow and started to get spots and die. They come off really easily. You don't have to force them off. Now, you can get scissors or you can just carefully hand pick them. They do fall right off. You see how easy that is? Mm -hmm. So the reason is because the plant does not need the solar leaves uh, anymore as it's using the energy production on the flower blossom compared to the vegetative leaves to get volume and plant growth. It's now focusing its energy on bulking up its flower to try to make more seeds or more THC if we don't pollinate it. Hmm. You can see that it's wilting and uh, the leaves look sick and dying but the rest of the plant looks healthy and perky. So what's happened is it's, uh, it's got the fungus right here on its stalk. If you can see this, a little bit hard to see. That fungus there has taken over the stalk and it's really killed the plant. It's got no structure left. It needs to be cut off. Like, you mean cut that off? Yeah. Yes, certainly we can. Uh, the bud doesn't look bad or sick. Just those leaves were starting to show us that they were, um, so yeah, we can take those bigger leaves off, it hasn't spread all over. We can save that part of the bud nice. um, for our extracts for sure. Maybe not for smoking, but we are going to just cut it off, Got it. leave it out here, and that's fine. That won't spread anything. Perfect. That can stay with our whole tray. Okay. One reason to take off your fan leaves to keep the plant with great uh, ventilation throughout it. So you gotta catch that or that can also continue to spread down. So what we're gonna just do is cut away the, it does have that fungus on it stock. So we'll take that piece right off and we'll watch that to make sure it doesn't spread down the plant or we'll sacrifice the whole branch. Nice. So your next tip and trick for our Halloween harvest. Before harvest, when your plants are in bloom, what really good like this, any of these big fan leaves are, you can cut off and you don't want to leave them on the ground. Or you want to collect them and take them away from your plants because they will get the powdery mildew and that can spread to your plant easily. So compost them in the right spots. You can lightly grab them with your hand you can lightly grab the branch and guide it back to snip them from the bottom. That's how I find it the easiest because you don't want to leave the stems on the plant. It kind of suffers. The plant tries to grow this, so it uses its energy for production of a stem. You're going to take the leaf off, take the stem off. Um, if you miss it like that, go, oh, whoops. 
just go back for it. Slide your scissors down and take that leaf off, that leaf stem off. It's pretty easy to carefully take leaves off. Try not to touch your plants too much in this phase when they're all sticky, they, they stay stuck up together and the cannabinoids stick on you. So we want them to stick on the plants for us to use later. How's that? How's so that? this is gonna give more airflow then to your plants and less chance of getting disease. Perfect. Boy, I'm glad I got a professor with me. <laughs> <laughs> and it will have more energy for the flowers. You won't need to keep feeding those leaves. So there's a, a couple of good reasons to take them off. And in this case, there, there needs to be a little better flow in here. Also, take off the fan leaves that are covering over a bud site on another branch. So this leaf is covering over this bud here. I would have taken this leaf off a long time ago if I would have had the time. But now that we're getting into harvest and we're doing our de-leafing, we're really only taking those bigger fans. Uh, if you get a little excited, go back in and take off the smaller fans. As you see, there's not any crystal on that leaf. We're gonna ditch it. But this leaf here, there's already crystal, all, if you can see that. Yeah. Just that little bit's enough. That whole leaf is worthwhile for making our butters and our extracts. Cool. For our topicals and our edibles. So the yummy trim. The yummy trim. You can notice that the plant is looking sick and drying up compared to the rest of the plant looking healthy. So we need to do an inspection. We're gonna tilt and look. There's some molding happening. Ah, we see it on the stalk. You see the green right. part of the stalk is really still alive and lovely and it changes with the fungus. We gotta get that off right away before it spreads any further. Now this is still good because it's full of seeds. So show us what a seed looks like and how you would pop that out. Oh, sure. When you're collecting your seed, you wanna have a bag or a colander maybe, a strainer is what I'm using. And uh, you just work over top of it as inside the calyx, you're gonna find your seeds right in there. That's your seeds. Looks just like that. Nice. Okay, we've made a new strain. And we've got some flour to work with. Merry Christmas. This smells delicious. Mm. All right. So anybody out there have a great name for this uh, cross between Smurfette and Girl Scout Cookie. And maybe we'll name a strain after you. Let's do a contest to find a name for our new strain, which is Girl Scout Cookies crossed with Smurfette. Oh, man. <laughs> so, if you've got the thousand times zoom microscope, you can hold it up to your plant and zoom in and out until you see it clearly. And what you're looking for is the round balls. Those are the head, the trichrome, the head of the trichrome. And it goes from clear to milky. to all milky and some changing to amber. You want to harvest your plant when they're all milky if you can because that's when it's at its fullest THC production, its strongest THC. The amber trichromes are CBN is when the THC degrades to CBN and too much of that and all you've got is sleepy time wheat. It makes you really stony and confused CBN and is best for nighttime. But the one good thing about CBN is it does help to create neurogenesis in the brain. So it helps your brain to recreate brain cells. So CBN is a real major player for dementia, cellular, Alzheimer's, uh, neurogenesis. Neurogenesis. I like that word. So we're just going to come in here and show you the type of zoom oh, yeah. that Casey is using. We've got the thousand times zoom. And that is producing zoomer. that picture. It needs to be thank you. So you can see in those clearer trichomes how it looks like a really teeny tiny microscopic glass mushroom and from the stem where the terpenoids first begin and then they work their way up into the cap of that trichome 
is where all the chemistry happens and those terpenoids either turn into terpenes or the different cannabinoids. But yeah, now you can see those really yellowy ones that are the degrading THC into, or THCA into CBNA. Can you see those Look at couple those of amber ones? Trichomes, yeah. Right there, hold that right there, Case. Steady right there, beautiful. And you can see the anthocyanin, the purple within those leaves. leaves. Gorgeous. See it's just both colors. That's pretty cool. Nice shot there, Case. Oh, right there. Look at those trichomes. I don't know. That's a pretty good shot. Doesn't that look like a people? Uh-huh. Right there. Alright. Right. Perfect. So we've still got some clear. It's not all milky here. This plant is still, you know, weeks away. So Thanksgiving is definitely too early. We're looking more like Halloween. Unless we got a hard frost coming, then we can take them down early. There's nothing wrong with cutting your plants down early. It's more of an enjoyable head high, the clear trichrome. So it's quite fantastic. What's that? Oh yeah. If you want to take a look at this one, All right, so this lens zooms in, not too bad for the camera, but you know, it's just meant for your eye. No magnifying glass. So we'll just look at it really close with the camera. Welcome to our haunted home. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is great. <laughs> so that's our tips and tricks for our Halloween harvest video. When harvesting your cannabis plants, you want to harvest more like Halloween rather than Thanksgiving. That'd be a little bit early if you ask me. So we're waiting for Halloween. Take a drink. All right, so thanks for tuning in. That's our show on our harvesting tips for growing and harvesting your cannabis plants. Stay tuned. Check back in next time. We'll see you around. Oh, don't forget to wear your mask. We'll see you in the next video. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> they go green to purple. Isn't that fun? Still too early. If you uh, like and subscribe, you'll be sure to catch my next video. Okay.